And finally, our last game of the week. Uh, this is going to be a 10-30 game really late. This is number 18, Kansas State versus Colorado. And you might be asking, Mason, why are you talking about this game? This game is going to be a fun one. I'm telling you, I think so. Right? You got Colorado. They got the one loss against Nebraska, losing by three touchdowns. But other than that, they've, they've kind of been solid, uh, except for maybe the first game against North Dakota State where they struggled a little bit, but they still pulled out the win. Uh, and let's not forget, K-State, they also got their one embarrassing loss. They didn't even get into the end zone against BYU. And BYU is a good team, but still. This is not a Colorado Dion Shadur hype show, but I want people to know, like, we think this is... This is going to be closer than a lot of people are anticipating. And I think this one was important to do a quarterback comparison on. You've got Avery Johnson. He's got a 61% completion percentage. He's got 879 yards on the season. And he's 9 for 4 touchdown and interceptions. 9 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Uh, Shadur Sanders. He's got a 70% completion rating. He's got a 1,630 yards. And he's got 14 touchdowns and 3 interceptions. That dude is averaging 326 yards a game by himself. So whether you like Colorado or not, whether you think that they're a fraudulent team or not, that stat right there through five games is incredible. 326 yards a game. So I think that this game is going to be a good one. It's at Folsom Field. They'll be rocking. I've been saying that word a lot tonight, but it's okay. They'll be rocking. It's going to be a good time. Uh, ESPN, FPI, they've given K-State a 52% chance to win, and they've also given K-State the spread, which they are favored by five and a half points. I don't see it. I think that this is going to be a really close game. I'm obviously picking first. This is going to be a close game. I think Avery Johnson, he's going to be ready. He's going to come in. He's going to play well. Uh, But so is Shadur Sanders. And you know what? Colorado has something that K-State does not. And that's Travis Hunter. Travis freaking Hunter, the Heisman candidate, who I think should be atop the Heisman race right now. And you've got Shadur Sanders, who's one of the best escape artist quarterbacks in the league right now top three quarterback in the league right now. And I think he's going to be getting Travis the ball all night long. And I think when you go on defense and you see Travis Hunter, that dude's football IQ, he can pick a ball out of nowhere. Give me Colorado for the upset at Folsom Field. They only won four games last year. They're already at that point. So anything better than four is a a good thing. Give me Colorado in this one. And Joey is picking K-State. Man, I'll be honest. After watching Kansas State go into BYU and lose like they did, I picked against K-State, and I was wrong against Oklahoma State just last week, or week before last, I guess now. Now, with that said, 1,600 yards, 70% completion for Shadur Sanders, 14-3 to touchdown interception ratio, Listen, I don't think Colorado is all that in the bag of chips, but it's Saturday night. It's in Boulder. Give me the buffs. I like Colorado on Saturday night. I think it's going to be a close one. I like them by a field goal. I think it'll be close, but it's a home game. You got, man, I tell you what, Colorado's rocking. A ma- I, mean, I watched them with a massive win against Baylor just a couple weeks ago. A great Saturday night game with the overtime win in Boulder. Yeah, give me more of the same. I like Dion's squad on Saturday night. And I really don't want Colorado to be like fraudulent. I mean, like I, I know that there's a lot of people who think that like Shadur needs to humble himself, and I'd probably agree. But I think this is a good Colorado football team. I mean, they're not the best team in the country by any means. They might not even be the best team in the Big 12. But they've got guys like Travis Hunter and Shadur Sanders and Shiloh Sanders, and they play good football. I mean, they took down the number one pass defense in the country with Baylor. Who I mean, obviously Baylor's not a great team, but they had the best pass defense coming into that game. And they got the one tough loss against Nebraska, but they've got a good a couple of good wins since that. And I think that they're going to be ready for this game. And you know what? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But they've got great playmakers on that team, and they're going to have to use them. Last year, we saw some of these late games go into overtime. There were some really close games. They they took Stanford to overtime, or Stanford took them to overtime and ended up winning late. Uh, but they also had a really close game against Colorado State, and they ended up winning that one too. Uh, but now they're in the Big 12. They're playing some good football. Obviously, uh, both these teams, they've got one loss, Colorado State does not have a Big 12 loss, but Kansas State does. This is a lot like LSU Ole Miss. Kansas State is probably going to be more desperate for the win, Uh, but I think talent and home field advantage prevails in this one. So, yes, we have the buffs, and Joey has Kansas State.